Hello everyone, it's my great honor to attend this conference online. My name is Li Tinghe. I come from China University of Mine and Technology, Beijing. Our research topic is to analyze the carbon footprint of coal supply chain in China from the perspective of life cycle, which was finished by Professor Bing Wang and me. Then, I will give this presentation from those four aspects. The first one is this research background. Coal is main source of carbon emissions in the world and China. Coal sector contributes more than 44% of global carbon emissions from fuel combustion and over 27% of total greenhouse gas emissions. For some countries with core based energy systems, such as China and India, there is over half of final energy consumption from coal. It's unshakable that coal's contribution to total energy related carbon emissions still occupies over 80%. This figure shows the annual production and consumption of coal in China. Overall, the decline is not obvious for the proportion of coal, so the prediction is credible that coal will take about under 50% of primary energy production, while the demand is about 3 billion tons by 2050. Coal industry in China is challenging a severe task of carbon emission reduction. In 2018, the global total carbon emissions are about 33.1 billion tons, while China's total carbon emissions reach 9.5 billion tons. Carbon dioxide emissions caused by coal consumption account for more than 70% of energy-related carbon emissions in China. There have been many research on coal or coal-related products from the perspective of life cycle and carbon footprint. However, few scholars study carbon emissions of coal supply chain based on life cycle theories. This research tries to answer the following three questions. The second part involves four aspects. In general, life cycle of coal includes exploration, mining, washing, transportation, utilization and transformation, and waste disposal. Coal can be transformed into a variety of coal products through different technologies. Figure B shows major coal products, such as coal to electricity, coke. Next, I will interpret the sources and accounting models for carbon emission from different processes and products. In the process of coal mining and washing, Carbon emission sources involve coal mine gas escaping and energy consumption. Here are four forms for coal utilization. Coal to electricity. The main sources of carbon emissions include the production process and loss of the power grid transmission process. Coal to heat. It is calculated based on energy consumption, including coal consumption and other energies. But coal, it includes coal consumption in primary industry, tertiary industry, and residential use, excluding coal used as raw material input in energy transformation process and coal consumption in secondary industry. Industrial coal. It refers to the direct consumption of coal at the industrial end. 
car transformation. Car is converted into gas, liquid, and solid fuels and downstream derived chemicals. According to the different car conversion technology, car chemical industry is divided into traditional and modern car chemical industry. As for carbon emission from car products consumption, this study only accounts for coke, coal to oil, and coal to natural gas because other products emissions are too less. The carbon emission accounting model is consistent with the previous model about energy consumption, which will not be repeated here. This table shows the meaning of parameters in above accounting models. Next step is confronting carbon emission factors. It refers to the provisions of intergovernmental panel on climate change and the emission factors of various energy sources in China are revised according to those two profiles issued by government. The third part is conclusions of this research. This table shows total carbon emissions from different products. The total carbon emission of car industry reached at billion tons. Car utilization and transformation is the main carbon emission source. The quantity reached 6 billion tons, almost accounting for 75%. Among all coal products, coal to electricity is the biggest carbon emission contributor, following by coke and industrial coal. We can find that coal mine gas is the main source of carbon emission in the process of coal mining and washing. In the way of coal utilization and transformation, local consumption is main source of carbon emission for coal to heat. The carbon emissions of coal chemistry account for little share comparing coal to electricity. And traditional coal chemistry emits more carbon dioxide than modern chemistry. From this table, we can find that the high total carbon emission doesn't mean the high carbon emission of unit economic value for different products. For coal to electricity, total emission ranks the first, while emission of unit economic value ranks the first, following by coal to heat, buckle, and coal to methanol. Therefore, there exist different strategies of carbon emission reduction based on different analysis perspectives. Through the explanation for conclusions, this research promotes following suggestions. Developing gas capture technology. Heat recovery technology should be adopted to realize the utilization of waste heat. Optimizing the power structure, promoting the implementation of policy by replacing coal with natural gas. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for your attention.